Here we go. Girl. Mo, did you read the story? Did you sit? I had I had gave you the story where yeah, it was like a slide. I, I went through it. I went through it. That was a... Uh... Then later said... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, she found out her baby father gave her HIV and he was also sleeping with her father while they were married. My God, the day. Oh, that's not only is that messed up, that's some trifling shit right there. That's past trifling. I really looked at that. It was just like, oh my God, is this who we are? Is this what we represent? <laughs> this is some real life pressure shit. Right. Right. So not only do does you, do you and your father not only do you and your husband have HIV, your father most likely has HIV because he was sleeping with your husband. Well, we don't know that, Mo. We don't know. We know she got it because she admitted she got HIV and she said she's pregnant. Because you know, just because you got HIV don't mean that that you know the person that you with gonna have HIV. So we got to get out of that thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like that's we don't that we don't know that, but we know that she admitted that she has HIV. Do the baby? Let's put it back up. Do the baby have it? Uh, I don't think she said no. I don't. Think it's just her, her that has it. She said she had it, but where did she get? But where did she get it from? From okay. the baby daddy. So now we don't know if the daddy got it because we don't know if the daddy over there raw dog and swallowing or whatever. We don't know what's going on. We uh, know that we know according to her, I pass if that he, the baby daddy got it and she got it. I would I would have put it past him if he's over here sleeping with her her father. Are we gonna do an Alexa play? No, we no, can't do it. That's no, too serious. No, yeah, y'all go, yeah. go rogue on me. Uh-uh. <laughs> and then I, yeah. have, I close the show down. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You, know, uh, you say HIV transmitted with blood and sexual discharge. However, if you're on PrEP or if she is on her meds, well, she, she probably just found out, so she's probably not on no meds right now. But if she's on her meds or, or if the dad is on PrEP, the dad may not be exposed exposed to it or if she's or if whatever if she's on her meds you know it can get to an undetectable state where she can't you know i don't know it's just a lot but damn yeah that's 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 yeah that's that's trifling i i mean i don't know what's he the word he was a dm man yes he got he he got it that's what that's what the Chris dad Okay, now we got to stop this. Hold on. Let's do some educating here. Let me go to the store. No, let's, do, let's do some educating here. Just because the man is DL does not mean he has AIDS or HIV. Let me go to the store real quick. Just because the man is DL doesn't mean, and I'm not protecting no DL man. I'm just saying we got to not miss. We can't, we we just can't start throwing we can't out. do HIV and AIDS like that because it's a whole different era now. Right. The era is different. The era, it's a different era. This is why I, when I go to places and I have conversation <laughs> with straight people, you know, straight, I have this conversation and I say, listen, these prep, pep, and all these commercials that y'all keep running through the fag community needs to be prevalent, needs to be huge and big in the hetero, in the heterosexual community. It needs to be open because everybody fucking can get it. If you fucking, you can get it. Whether you DL, up top, out loud, and you can also be fucking somebody that has HIV and not get it because they're either on their meds or either they're on their meds or you're taking PrEP. This is why nobody don't want to take PrEP because they don't want to do this and other. But people is fucking these days. Ladies, I encourage you. People are fucking these days. People are fucking. And the only preventative measure that you can get from receiving the HIV. Abstinence. Abstinence. Besides that, if you fucking too, because <laughs> you can get the HIV from your partner. You can get the HIV from your partner. You can get the HIV from your significant other that you are monogamous with, that you are monogamous with. Mm -hmm. You. 
are monogamous with. You can get something from your partner. The only way that you can help yourself out to all to add to preventative measures to take preventative, you can wear rubber. Yep. And or, rubbers are only what? I would, right. They, and that ain't that hot. They, not, yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 you still can contract you can still with a rubber. It. Right. You can still get or it. you can take prep. I gotta be careful who y'all laying down with. It's a new day. These, the day, the day is new. Yep, yeah, because people are more sexually, more sexually fluid now. So it's a new day. To, yeah. And so it said, Mo, this is a 1995 abstinence. It's like a VCR. <laughs> I just let him say that. <laughs> I like that analogy, though. I do like that analogy. <laughs> it's it's a new day. Straights, it's a new day. You're not homosexual if you take prep. <laughs> <laughs> You're just careful. You're just, you know, taking preventative measures just in case, you know what I'm saying, you come encounter with something. Just preventative measures. You're not gay. Men, straight straight men, you're not gay if you take prep. You're just being careful. People need to ju- not just care about themselves, but they need to care about other people too. You can't just be going around just doing whatever you want to because it affects other people. Like this man sleeping with his his wife's father, you uh, he obviously wasn't thinking about his family and his wife. He was just thinking about his own selfish needs. And that's, you can't do that. Especially when you have people in your life that rely and depend on Luan, you said you stop prep today and you continue abstinence. All right. I mean, that works. That's, that's, that that may, and if you, you want to abstain, that's great. But you know, if you are sexually active and you are having sex, straight or gay sex, hetero or homosexual or bisexual sex and you want to present prevent yourself from getting hiv prep is a huge preventative measure and you don't have to be gay to take prep even though prep and all that type of stuff is promoted heavily to our community as the lbgtiqi and all the letters community it's it's promoted heavily to us. We're educated on it. A lot of us are we're heavily educated on it because we've always we've already been accused of, <laughs> of being the problem. Right. Okay. So we're heavily, heavily educated on that. It's the ones that be like, well, I ain't taking that because I ain't finna be doing that. I ain't getting on that. And this, 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 nah, 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 nah. Okay, fine. Great. But you say you've been taking prep for, for, for wait. Someone said prep is for males only, Maddie. No, that's not true. Prep is not for males only. Who told you that? Wait, see how this where did you get this misinformation? What? Who told you that? I don't know. You got you got to do research before. What? Also, if a person is HIV positive who is on their meds and is undetectable, they can't transmit the virus to you. But it's also bigger help if you are also on PrEP, just in case. Right. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be safe than sorry. You said there's a commercial about it for it says bio male only. What? Oh, because it says prep for men. Don't let listen. It's not this. You said Discovery is male only. There's Discovery. There's Truvada. Um, I don't know because I, I I work with with Gilead. I work with with Vive. You know, I work with the manufacturers of this. Of of I just did a a, a workshop with with uh, Tanashi. We just did a women's workshop with Tanashi in New York City just recently. That's what I was in New York City for. 
um, we had a luncheon, a black women's luncheon. And we were talking about prep. Um, we were talking about uh, prep, pep. Pep is if you have been exposed to it after you've had a sexual encounter and you think that you've been exposed to it, kind of like the the thing when y'all don't have it fucked and think you're pregnant. Oh, God. Your shooter said, I work in HIV. It has not been tested for females yet. Females at birth can't take the SCOVI. Okay. Well, males, <laughs> whatever. Again, Again, the biggest thing is condoms first. Second, if you've just fucking, there you go. Third, okay, know that your partner, your partner, you might be, what's the word? Monogamous. Monogamous, but your partner may not be. So, Protect yourself, people. Yes. And it's it's terrible that we live in a day and a time where you're telling married people that are in marriages to protect yourself, even from your own partner. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sad. Especially when you hear stories about that. Oh, um, hold on, wait. They're giving us some information in the comment section. Oh, we, they are. I like a good. I love a good information. Okay, so somebody said, uh, "Scovy is not for women, but prep is for both genders." That's what somebody said. Um, but the Scovy is a prep medication, though. No, he's saying that Discovery is not for women, but I guess they're saying yeah, but prep, other other but, prep is for both male and women. Okay, male Truvada is the only prep pill that women can take. Got it. Okay. Oh, I've heard about that. Uh, now, James, too much for you says, I'm a medical professional and I have been for 15 years preppers for anyone. I mean, that's what that's what I've been taught, but I'm just looking at all these people, this, you know. Maybe different brands are for different, maybe different brands have, you know, but this is why you have to go see your primary care physician. Right. I just did a whole video the other day where I'm talking about Mo and I put it up again. I did a whole video that I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor. And I go down check. there. I go. I spread my ass. I swabs my ass. I draws blood. I bitch. The moment that I feel a, a tingle, that's why I don't like that lube that tingles. That lube that's get warm and tingles. Uh uh. I don't fuck with that. I go to tingling a little bit. I'm already down. Hello. <laughs> hey. I need to come. I need to what check What y'all got open this week? I don't like that loop that tingles. I don't like it. I start feeling funny somewhere or I, or I don't had a sexual encounter and I'm like, girl. Mm -mm. And Sunshine, Sunshine said Memphis has the highest STD rate in you. I thought it was Atlanta. No, it's not Atlanta. I think Atlanta's number four. Miami's number one. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. I don't fuck with that tingle loop because it be having me on the phone. <laughs> or oh, my nuts be warm and the shit. The tingle has you on Man, the phone? Man, that shit had me on the phone. Because I, I ain't <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> like, why this? Mo, well, because you have to have a lot of dick to go with me. <laughs> you do. And if you ain't got a lot of dick, I mean, I got to really be, oh, I got to really, you know. You got to work for it. it. Gotta, I got to lube it up. <laughs> so... Bitch, it may be some leftover lubages. <laughs> and you're like, well, what not got through the rubber? <laughs> leftover lubages? What's, I don't know, but, you know, bitch, I'm tingling for so many days. Oh, yeah, then, yeah, definitely. Yeah, then if you go down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just too many days tingling. You know, something ain't right. Yeah. Bitch, go to coffee too much. Bitch, go to... You know, bitch, go to doing it be too much. That's why I'm not ashamed. You catch me, at, bitch. You run to be down there, doctor. You better be glad I'm down to that motherfucker, cause I'm down there, bitch. So I don't have to be down there. I ain't ashamed to tell you, bitch. I'm going down there. Cause you and I and I schedule follow ups and all that.